5 easy tips to start an at-home archive. Do you have old family photographs, film or audio documents at home? Ever wondered how you can preserve them in the best way possible? Here are 5 easy to follow tips to get you started on your way to creating an in-home archive. 1. Handle it like a pro. Despite what you may think, gloves are not always the best way to go. Cotton gloves especially might make you clumsier and you might end up damaging the document you are handling. When you are working with film and audio documents, your best option is always clean, dry hands. So make sure to wash and dry your hands and take off any rings or jewelry that might scratch the document. It also goes without saying that the surface you are working on should always be clean and dry as well. If you are handling photographs, however, it is wise to wear gloves to avoid the risk of leaving fingerprints on the images. 2. Good organization is half the battle. Now that you are prepped and ready to go, the next important step is to get a clear overview of what you have. Start by sorting and establishing an organizational system that works for you. We recommend you sort your documents according to media type. Then you can come up with further divisions. For example, you can sort them according to dates, themes or even titles, if they exist. It is up to you. Just make sure to stick to one system. That way, you will always be able to find what you are looking for. 3. Get the facts. The next important step is to gather as much information as you can. Dates, places and people are always a good place to start. Get your family members involved. They might know facts about the document you were unaware of. Finally, you could also measure your documents and make note of their exact dimensions. You never know when this info might come in handy. 4. Documenting the facts. Make sure to write down all the information you have. You can use any type of spreadsheet as long as you document the information the same way each time. All the information you gathered, from places to faces and dates, write them down and establish an inventory. Trust us, professional archivists and anyone looking at your documents will thank you for it. 5. Store it right. We know it is very tempting to store your documents in the attic or down in the basement, but these are really not the right places. If you want to make your documents last, what you need is a dark place with stable temperature and humidity where the documents will be exposed as little as possible to light, dirt and dust. When considering which container to house your documents in, a good guideline is to stick to paper enclosures for more humid areas and plastic containers if you are planning to access your documents frequently. And there you have it. 5 tips to help you take care of your very own audiovisual collection at home.